Humanitarians, militaries, and armed actors have different reasons and ways to collect and analyze and share information. You may have already learned that information sharing is one of the key elements of SimCord. Understand that there are rules to information sharing. Humanitarian organizations follow a policy of transparency, but under no circumstances will they share information that provides a tactical advantage to an armed actor. Military organizations have rules as well. One of the more frustrating times you may deal with with the military is asking for information and they respond back with that it's classified. Understand military information is managed by a system of classification. Access to certain information is based on that individual's need to know and their security clearance status. Examples of status, they may have top secret, secret, or confidential within the United States. Within the UN, it may be confidential or strictly confidential. Of note, and military members need to know when their clearance level may change based on their assignment or position. Also understand that more rank does not necessarily equal that they have access to more information. Another reason that information may be withheld from the military is due to operational security. The OPSEC process identifies critical information to military plans and operations and then develops measures to eliminate and reduce risk. Keep in mind, military organizations can share more information and are willing to in unclassified, are more willing to in unclassified situations, such as a disaster response situation. Just some other considerations. Declassifying information takes a lot of time. If you want to share it with a foreign audience, that also takes a lot of time. Some countries have information sharing agreements already in place. For example, the Five Eyes Information Alliance. I'll leave you with a tip. When you're requesting information from the military, don't request raw data. Instead, ask for what your desired outcome is. Thank you.